In tonight's Valley News Leader Extra, it's an adrenaline pumping ride. Those who have taken it say it'll knock your socks off, and you won't find it at Disneyland. As Kai Goldberg shows us, just go up north through the red rocks of Sedona and think pink. <laughs> They move all around the backcountry of Sedona, all along these red rocks, going up and down steep hills at impossible angles. But they definitely don't blend in. In fact, they completely stand out. The Pink Jeep. For more than half a century, these specialized touring 4x4s have given tourists and locals alike a much better understanding and appreciation of this red rock country. And the Pink Jeep Tour is not just about the thrill of it all. Most importantly, it's about conservation, education, and history. My guide for the day is Andrea Goldberg. No relation. She's from Argentina. She fell in Sedona during a vacation, and now she shares her vast knowledge of the area after going through her own rigorous training. Just being a guide, there's a tremendous amount of reading involved, um, training, being personable, learning about Native American cultures, learning about geology. The rocks are red is because uh, the water deposited iron and the iron just rusted, so it's iron oxide. And how long ago was the ocean in this area? Well, uh, there were different oceans. Um, and approximately the last uh, ocean covered the area about 80 million years ago. As the ocean receded, it created many lasting images, images that Andrea tells me you can only see by using your imagination. We're standing on the submarine. On the other side of the submarine is uh, Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain. Sound familiar? Walt Disney himself was so inspired by the Red Rocks, he used these likenesses and names for Disneyland. But it's the people who once ruled these rocks that keep Pink Jeep's clients amazed. They were the sea people without water, as the Spanish called them. They lived in Sedona between 500 and 1300 AD. The Sinawas farmed this rich earth and lived in caves carved throughout the rocks. Important history that all Pink Jeep guides pass along, especially to young adventurers. I always like to hear the kids' interpretation, what they think it means, what they think they're seeing. Uh, that's always uh, fascinating. And although there are some who see these Pink Jeeps as an eyesore to the backcountry, Pink Jeep and the Forest Service know their role is vital. We keep the trails in just a real smooth order for our own use, but then also we share all the trails with the general public out there. Kai Goldberg, ABC 15 News, your Valley News Leader.